What's going on guys? Before I start the video, I just want to say uh, my 1,000 subscriber special video on my personal car is going to be uploaded Sunday. I'm a little bit busy with work for the weekend, but Sunday I'm going to go get my car cleaned up before I film it and then hopefully upload it by Sunday evening. Uh, US time, of course, central time. So I know you guys have been asking in the comments, where's the video, where's the video? Well, it's coming. I'm going to do it Sunday. got to clean my car out, so... That is coming, so let's review this GL real quick. Take a look at this beast. This is one of the nicer examples I've seen in a way because on a lot of these GLs and GLS, these little wood panels here, they crack real easily, even on some newer cars. Not seeing it on this one, so decent. Let's check the creaks. Now let's check out the buttons. Okay, usual Mercedes issues. Um, I'm gonna give it a solid six out of 10. Really any car that does this kind of deserves that. Um, rest of it's okay, I guess. Buttons are kind of mediocre to me anyway. The button thing is gonna be suggestive or subjective depending on if you like clicky buttons or not. I know some people personally do not like clicky buttons. 
well, that's that's kind of your choice. I, I like clicky buttons, so let's start this thing up real quick. Fifty-eight thousand miles. Honestly, kind of a rough idle. If I'm honest, I know the tack isn't moving too much, but I can feel some vibration coming from this car. Another thing I notice on GLs and GLSs is this has the most lightest over-assisted steering. All I have to do is just turn a little bit, it goes on its own. So easy to turn the steering wheel, and it's a big car. But yeah, 6 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'm just going to shamelessly ask all of you guys to do that for me. And yeah, Sunday, that video is coming on my car. Take care, guys. Peace.